This is a University of Sheffield Health Service screencast. Hello, and welcome to this screencast on the copper intrauterine device, or copper coil as it's often known. In this screencast, we'll cover what it is, how it works, how effective it is, its advantages, and lastly, any disadvantages. The copper intrauterine device is a member of a group called the Long Acting Reversible Contraceptives, or LARCs for short. We'll talk a bit about LARCs first and then specifically about the copper intrauterine device. There are four different types of long-acting reversible contraceptives. The first is a copper intrauterine device called IUD or copper coil. Then there is the intrauterine system or IUS. Thirdly there are contraceptive injections and lastly there is the contraceptive implant. LARCs are suited for women who want contraception without having to remember to take it daily or at the time of intercourse. Their effects are also reversible, so there's no long-term effect on your fertility. It has been found that women who use LARCs have less unwanted pregnancies than those who use the pill, because the pill is only 99% effective if it's used perfectly. LARCs are particularly suited to those women who have a body mass index, or BMI, over 30, have diabetes or migraines with or without aura, and those who can't take oestrogen-containing contraceptives. It should be remembered that LARCs do not provide protection against sexually transmitted infections, so use a condom in addition if you think you are at risk. The copper intrauterine device is a small copper and plastic device that's fitted in the uterus. It works by preventing fertilization of an egg. The copper intrauterine device is very effective, with more than 98% success. The advantages of the copper IUD is that it gives immediate contraceptive protection once fitted. It's effective for 5 to 10 years depending on the type that's fitted, and once removed, fertility returns back to normal immediately. It's also a non-hormonal form of contraception. The disadvantages of the copper IUD are as follows. It's likely that you may feel discomfort during and after its insertion. There is a small risk of the uterus being punctured or perforated during the insertion procedure itself. Problematic vaginal bleeding is common in the first 3 to 6 months after insertion. This can take the form of spotting, heavy or prolonged bleeding. There is an increase in the risk of pelvic infection in the first 20 days following insertion, but thereafter the risk falls back down to its background level. If your risk of catching an STI is high, condoms should be used in addition to the IUD. You should discuss this with your doctor. Expulsion of the device, where it's pushed out of the uterus, can occur in up to 1 in 20 women. This happens mostly in the first year of use, and particularly within 3 months after insertion. You'll be given instructions by the doctor on how you can check for yourself that the device is still in place. If the device fails to stop a pregnancy happening, there is a risk of ectopic pregnancy, where the pregnancy implants outside of the uterus. However, the overall risk of ectopic pregnancy is less than if no contraception was used at all. For further information and to view the reference material we've used, please note the following. You can view these only if you've enabled the annotations function. This is the end of the screencast on the copper intrauterine device.